In our shiny new technological age, it's easy to take a dim view of the past. We tend to imagine that people back then lived in a simpler age, full of candles, books, and f***ing weird superstitions. But actually, a lot of the technology from those supposed dark ages used some pretty advanced scientific principles, many of which we're still trying to figure out to this day. Sure, they maybe didn't fully understand all of the principles behind some of their most impressive tech, but the old world folk deserve a lot more credit than we give them. And no, it wasn't aliens. With that in mind, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, and these are seven ancient technologies that used amazingly advanced science. Number seven, boomerangs, gyroscopic procession. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. <laughs> Laugh. Anyway, the boomerang is one of humanity's oldest flying inventions. The oldest known boomerang is estimated to be as much as 23,000 years old. With its rounded leading edge, thinner trailing edge, and curved top creating lift as it moves through the air, it's basically a wing, something the rest of humanity didn't get to for quite some time. Although these are relatively simple aerodynamic principles now, 23,000 years ago, man was barely out of the shit cave painting stage, so the development of an airfoil is damn good going. The boomerangs that do come back are utilizing some additional principles of physics, namely gyroscopic precession. But we all knew that, right lads? We can't be sure whether the boomerang's ancient inventors were scribbling complex mathematical formulas in their sand, but it's more likely that they perfected their design through trial and error, using techniques that wouldn't be properly understood for thousands of years. Number six, brass ancient disinfectant. You know, in the olden days, when everything was dirty and smelly, how on earth did anyone stay alive long enough to reproduce before dropping dead of some horrible infection? Well, despite our prejudices about the filthy lot from back then, as we sit smugly atop our tower of bleach and antibacterial hand gel, they knew a thing or two about killing germs using something called the oligodynamic effect. An ancient Egyptian medical text known as the Edwin Smith Papyrus recommends the use of copper as well as silver, magnesium, and arsenic as medical disinfectants. It was also a well-known practice for settlers in North America to drop copper and silver coins in their containers of water, milk, and wine to keep it fresh. It's thought that metal ions damage proteins or interfere with the metabolic processes of the bacteria. As a result, a brass doorknob will disinfect itself in around eight hours, whereas a flashy stainless steel one never will. Number five, concrete. The Romans got there first. Although most of us associate concrete with 70s tower blocks, war, it's actually a technology that was used throughout history, most famously by the Romans. The Flintstones mixing it in a pelican doesn't count, by the way. Hardening concrete is actually a chemical reaction known as curing, something that Romans couldn't have really known about before the development of chemistry. The common misconception that concrete dries out as it hardens is not quite true, evident in the fact that concrete can harden underwater. There you go, show off that fact to your mates the next time you draw a dick in some wet concrete. The process, known as hydration, is a chemical reaction that causes the ingredients to form different molecular bonds, massively strengthening its structure. The thing is, the Romans were doing this in an age when water springs were gods and owls were bad omens. Imagine looking at this guy and seeing a bad omen. They even managed to use this technology to build the largest unreinforced concrete dome ever that is still unsurpassed by modern technology. Number four, Chinese earthquake detector seismographs. In terms of amazing new technology, the ancient Chinese were definitely ahead of the pack. As well as inventing everything from fireworks to toilet paper, don't get those two mixed up, they also casually found a way of detecting earthquakes up to 500 kilometers away, and even figuring out where they occurred. Nice. This first ever seismoscope, which looks awesome by the way, was demonstrated in 132 AD by a Chinese inventor named Zhang Heng. It can consisted of a large vessel with eight dragon heads around the outside at the main points of the compass. When an earthquake was detected, a ball would drop out of one of the dragon mouths and drop into the bowl below. Where the ball came out would indicate where the earthquake was. That is some next level shit, 
right there. Perhaps unsurprisingly, I'm not exactly sure of the mechanism, but it's thought that the large vessel contained a delicately balanced stick. When a tiny shockwave passed through, it would cause the stick to fall over in a certain direction, pushing the ball out of a certain dragon. Technology! Number three, Da Vinci City of the Future, Germ Theory. I think we can all agree on a few things. Tom Hanks is lovely, James Corden is a bellend, and Leonardo da Vinci was a pretty clever bloke. Despite living in an age that predated a lot of modern science, he developed a whole range of technologies that were way ahead of their time. These included a city based around principles that wouldn't be formulated for another 400 years or so. Around the year 1400, da Vinci was living in Milan whilst the bubonic plague tore its way through Europe. This was made worse by the fact that these cities were essentially overcrowded cesspits in which you spent most of your time with your face inches from someone else's armpit. A bit like public transport nowadays. At the time, people had no real idea how disease spread, and the prevailing theory was that illness was caused by bad air, demons, or some other bullshit. Leonardo's ideal city, however, had sanitation and cleanliness at the forefront of the design, and utilized principles that would later go on to develop into germ theory in the 1800s. The city was divided into separate levels levels, with the lowest levels reserved for canals that would whisk away any waste products, whilst the upper levels featured wide streets, allowing people to move around without literally breathing into each other's mouths. Number 2. Damascus Steel – Carbon Nanotubes if someone said the words carbon nanotubes, super plastic, and micro alloy to you, you'd likely probably picture a high-tech lab somewhere. Probably Germany, let's be honest. However, these are all words associated with the ancient super steel that was being used to slice the heads off Persians by the likes of Alexander the Great as far back as 300 BC. Damascus steel was prized for its incredible strength and sharpness, supposedly capable of slicing a feather in half in the air or scything through the barrel of a gun. The legendary steel was the perfect weapon. The thing is, we still can't figure out how they did it. Analysis of Damascus steel has revealed nanowires and carbon nanotubes, something that we use today in the fields of electronics and nanotechnology. Amazingly, something that these are the result of adding woody material into the steel and deriving the nanotubes from the plant fibers. Science. The technology was unfortunately lost by the 18th century though, and so far we've not been able to reproduce it. Sort it out, nerds! Number 1. The Robotic Knight – Humanoid Robots Going back to old LDV for a bit, turns out the bloke managed to build a f***ing robot in the 15th century. What have you done today, eh? The design was based on his extensive studies of human anatomy. Leonardo spent a lot of his time cutting up and sketching human corpses in a bid to figure out how it all worked. Not in a weird way to make one of those sex robots. And he then applied this knowledge to his very own automaton. It was made up of a suit of armor operated by a series of ropes and pulleys meant to imitate human muscles and tendons. The thing could sit, stand, move its arms, raise its visor, and even operate its jaw whilst presumably freaking everyone out at parties. Although the original robot has not survived, robotics engineers managed to recreate it in 2002 using his original sketches. Incredibly, this system works so well that many of the principles have been applied to modern robots used by NASA. Talk about being ahead of your time. And that's our list. Know of any more? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Adam from What Culture, and I'll see you soon.